If you think the problem is them, ooh, have I got a gentle nudge for you today. I once had a crappy boss, let's call him Steve. If you'd met me during that time, I would have told you about how crappy Steve was and how he was making my life miserable. Even when I wasn't at work, it was like I was because I hated my job so much because of Steve. I told my therapist about him and just said I'm gonna quit. My life would have been perfect without him or so I thought. Wisely, she told me that I could certainly quit, but there would always be another Steve because the way it was triggering me let her know that that was where the healing was needed. And because the trigger was actually inside of me, those triggers would come up again and again until I sat with the uncomfortable emotions and worked through them. So I quit and I was happy for a few weeks. And guess what? I ran into another Steve. What the heck? Turns out she was right. And I decided that I was tired of feeling that way. So I did something about it. Do you have any Steves in your life? If so, here's a gentle nudge. You don't have to keep feeling triggered by anyone. You can choose to use the feeling as an opportunity to show you what trauma needs to be healed. And that's a really empowering thing to know. So I'd like to say, thanks, Steve. I'm more free and authentic because of you.